What's good? This is Queen Common Sense coming back to you from the Shy Town, holding it down. Um, got a little insomnia this morning, and I ran across an interesting video again on YouTube where this young man was talking about most of the black women he runs into have attitudes and like I said before to the young girl a cat or whatever her name is you know we don't deny us sisters who can accept the truth we don't deny that we do amongst us have attitudes because I've witnessed my own sisters have attitudes with me and I know y'all used to hearing me snapping and going off about these issues because some of them is just ridiculous some of them are very valid we need to address them some of them just I don't know. This in the I don't know column. But I want to address this young Latina man. I don't know his YouTube channel name because his video was on Law TV One channel. I don't know how I ran across this. Just clicked on it and it was on there. So I want to say to the young man that, first of all, hello. How are you? See? We can be nice. I'm a very, very kind person. I'm taking away the word nice because nice means something else. Really. It means stupid, but I'm not nice. I'm very kind. Very warm, loving sister. So, hi. How you doing? Shy town holding it down, Queen Common Sense. We we all not like that. And I know you realize that. But I just wanted to give you the good side of us. Cause it is. And I just want to explain to you why a lot of us do have attitudes. We are carrying baggage. Lots of baggage. Lots of anger, lots of pain, lots of frustration, lots of drama, unnecessary drama. And if you check out my other video, Heal the Nation, it's because we use our emotions to goddamn much. And we don't use our rationale enough. Does that make sense, bro? Okay, so I just wanted to offer that little bit to you, tell you that's why a lot of us have attitudes. And I'm very sorry on behalf of my sisters, those of us who cannot control our emotions. I'm very sorry because I'm, you know, I'm so through with this bullshit. And, you know, my sisters being t constantly told over and over again the same thing. And it ain't nothing happening. Now, if it's going on in the real life, it's going on all over the internet. Black women just got these attitudes. and I mean, come on. I've seen it. You know? I've heard it. And honestly, it's embarrassing to me because that's my sister. And as beautiful as she is, whomever she might be at the time, stranger, friend, or foe, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing because I know she can do better. I know she can act better. And I know she can carry herself better. And I know she can use her rationale and not let her emotional get away from her where she's controlled by her emotions. That's why I can be embarrassed. You know? And I have risked getting my ass handed to me by another sister. 
because I'm trying to calm her down so she won't later think about the dumb shit she just did and be embarrassed. Because as you can see, when any of us do some dumb shit, people don't know how to let that shit go. They just keep talking and talking about it. And then the one that's looking stupid is, oh, I don't care. They can talk about me if they want to. I don't care. I did what I felt. Emotion. Did what I felt like I wanted to do. And this gets us in hot water all the time, my sisters. And I be trying to tell my beautiful, wonderful queens, think about it. Because you're going to get tired of hearing about this shit after it's over with. You acted on your emotions, you did what you felt at the time, and it was not rational. And you're never going to let this shit down. Sound familiar? And then if it get back to your babies or your... You know, somebody who you really care for. You know, get back to your family, somebody. People don't know how to let negative shit go, y'all. We live in the age where drama and dumb shit is capitalized on. So, we giving them exactly what they want. They pimping our emotions. Pushing our buttons. You know? Make us hop, jump, skip. And all that. So they can turn around and say, look at them crazy motherfuckers. Them black women ain't got no goddamn sense. That's what they doing. You know. The media and all that. So brother, my, my Latino brother, I, we not all nasty. And if I saw you on the bus stop or something like that, I come in your establishment, I would speak and I would have a beautiful smile because I like to make people smile and I like to speak and I like to make new friends. So, I'm one that's not nasty. And sisters, please, it don't kill nobody to be kind. Kindness is free. And it's good exercise for your, your face. You use more m muscles in your face to make a frown than you do to make a smile. It's so easy to smile. See? So we love you, brother. And Mr. Law TV One, would you please forward this to our brother and let him know that this some nice, kind, sweet, warm, loving sisters on YouTube we love you. I love you. So peace out. It's, I'm ready to go to sleep now. I'm sleepy. This finally made me sleepy. So I hope this helped. Let you know. It's a nice. It's nice sisters. We like to be nice. I do. I like to be sweet. I like to be kind. Gotta erase that word nice from our vocabulary. Kind. Warm. Thoughtful conscientious, rational sisters. So, y'all have a good one. Queen Common Sense coming back to you. Till next time. Shytown holding it down. Y'all sleep well. I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs>